That's not going to continue. Yeah. Oh, the Honourable Amy Adams. Speaker, I did want to begin my contribution to the general debate by uh, acknowledging and congratulating the MP for Mount Albert uh, on taking over leadership of the Labour Party. Uh, and I must say, Mr Speaker, that I look forward to the day uh, in which the gender of a person taking on a role like that stops being a point of interest in the discussion. And actually, whether it's a man or a woman ceases to be irrelevant, uh, and actually the interest is in uh, the quality of the person taking on the role. Mr Speaker, this uh, party, our party, the National Party, over the last weekend put out our party list for the 2017 election. And I'm incredibly proud of that list. It is the most diverse party list that we've ever put out ahead of an election. It represents people from all around New Zealand, from all walks of life, from so many different ethnicities, from so many different backgrounds. And the reason, Mr Speaker, that we see so many New Zealanders of all different types wanting to be part of this team is because they know and they see that we are a government and we are a party that came here to represent and to deliver for all New Zealanders. And when you come to this place, you know that making a change for New Zealanders isn't going to be easy. It's going to require some issues that are incredibly challenging. There aren't easy options waiting out there simply to be taken. These are hard issues that we tackle every day. They're challenging, they're tough, they bring with them incredibly robust debate. And making progress on those issues takes a number of things. It takes, obviously, a group of people who are dedicated, who are committed, who are hardworking, and who have a clear vision, who know what they want for New Zealand, and who are relentless in pushing for those outcomes for New Zealand. You've got to have a strong belief in this country. You have to have a belief in its people. And you have to have an absolute determination to deliver more and more for them. Mr Speaker, we want to deliver jobs. We want to deliver better incomes. We want to deliver opportunities for every single New Zealander. We want the best health. We want the best education. We want the best connectivity. We want our streets to be safe and our communities to be healthy. This has to be a country that is a good place to do business, where people want to come and invest. And we want, as I say, our communities to be good places to raise children. So all of that, Mr Speaker, requires a number of things. It absolutely requires and is underpinned by a strong economy. Yep. Because this government knows it isn't governments that create jobs and raise incomes and pay taxes to fund all the things we do. It's hardworking New Zealanders who have the confidence to invest. Uh, that's what this government understands. And, Mr Speaker, there's one other thing that it absolutely requires. It requires strong, stable leadership who remain focused every single day on getting the task done. Every day that you spend in government looking internally, fighting with yourselves, fighting with other parties, working out how you're going to arrange yourself as a day, you're not focused on the outcomes of New Zealanders. And I can tell you, Mr Speaker, that this is a party and a government who every day comes here not looking inward and worrying about how we sort ourselves out, not in uh, spats with our support partners and name-calling, and, and, Mr Speaker, this is a government that focuses instead on getting the things done that New Zealanders need. Mr Speaker, it's very simple, really. If you can't manage yourself, you can't manage a country. You can't run your own system and you can't work with other parties in this House cooperatively and constructively. And yes, you can disagree, but you can do it in a way that is respectful, manner-enhancing and advances the debate. And that, Mr Speaker, is what delivers for the people of New Zealand. Not in fighting, not division, uh, and not spending all of your energy on your own internal struggles. Mr Speaker, what is, what is that approach of strong, stable, unified, hard-working support mean for this country? Well, I'll tell you what it's meant, Mr Speaker. It's meant an economy that's growing at 3 per cent, one of the best growth rates in the OECD, and that has meant more jobs, Mr Speaker, an increase of more than 200,000 jobs and average wages up to now nearly $60,000 a year. That's an incredible increase. That means families in New Zealand are better able to afford the costs of living. We've seen those real wage increases far outstripping inflation. This isn't some inflation fueled increase in wages. This is more money for New Zealanders. And of course, Mr Speaker, just in this year's budget, you saw us pass the family's income package, which interestingly enough, Labor opposed, even though it put more money into the pockets of some of our most vulnerable New Zealanders. Labour, when push came to shove, didn't want to support that because it didn't suit their political agenda of opposing the government. And that showed more than anything, for them it was a case of the politics. 
If the politics meant that they should oppose it, even though it helped New Zealanders, that's what they would do. Well, not this government, Mr Speaker. We are focused on delivering for New Zealanders. We've delivered for New Zealanders over the time that we've been in government, and we'll continue to do it on the basis of a strong, stable leadership and a strong, stable team. Madam Davidson. Mr Speaker, I hosted a housing...